Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, let's try to do this without coughing all over the microphone. Howdy, partner. Did you buddy John here? Welcome back. It's been a little bit uh, since we last recorded. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I, I took a little bit of a break. I came back sick. Yeah. That's that's what you do on breaks. Yeah. You leave to relax. You come back needing to take another break just to recover. Okay. Uh, welcome back to the main build zoo. Uh, today, we're going to do something I should have done weeks ago. We're going to be taking a look at the barnyard animal pack. Uh, so in order to do that, I want to clear out our little petting zoo section here. Let's go ahead and pause this. Um, so, let's go over what we have. First off, oh, I downloaded this. Look, we have the National Animal of Texas now in the zoo. we got the, got the Texas Longhorn, yeah. I would say I could, like, uh, squeeze them in somewhere. Um, hmm. I think I might replace our... <clears throat> Excuse me, ooh. I think I'm going to replace um, our Holstein Frisian cow with a Longhorn. Maybe. Anyway, let's take a look here. Um, as far as what we got in here right now, uh, we do have the uh, that, that, that pig there, the domestic large whites, and these domestic chickens, as well as some sheep and a goat. I think the goat, the chicken, and the pigs are actually in the new DLC. Let me just take a look here. Chicken. Okay, so the Sussex chicken. These were released with the um, DLC. So this is uh, going to be taking the place of the um, Rhode Island Reds we have over here. So I'm going to try to clear them out. As far as pigs go, I think there's a pig. I don't know if there's a sheep. I know there's a goat. Let me see, goat. Uh, we have the alpine goat, which is actually the same thing as this modded goat here. So I'm, I'm gonna, I want to send you out. Let's send this animal to trade center. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Um, what about sheep? I don't know if there's any sheep. Okay. Oh, there is. Okay. All right, so we're going to be replacing you. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Okay. All right. Place you. As far as the pigs go... <clears throat> All right, we have the Tamworth pig. All right, so you're gonna be coming in here. So let's just uh, let's just clear everybody out. Uh, this is the one that came from the mod. We're, 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 I guess I guess we'll leave you in. But I really want to fit the Longhorn in somewhere. So maybe maybe the thing to do is to build another. Hmm. Can I squeeze another path coming this way? I really want to include the, the Longhorn. Or should I put him over here closer to the... Um, you know I might put the Longhorn in right here. That way we have a little Texas section. Should we do that? If we do that, we might squeeze the Longhorn in in another episode. Uh, and I'll just squeeze him in right here. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to work on the petting zoo. And before we carry on back over to the uh, African section, we'll do another episode where I try to squeeze in the uh, Texas Longhorn. I think I could make like a little side entrance here on the side of the Alamo building and uh, make that part of his, um, <clears throat> excuse me, make that part of his um, shelter. Yeah, that's that's the word. Okay. Let's let this roll. Let's get these animals cleared out. Okay. Uh, come over here to animal training. I want to see about selling off. Well, fine. Okay. Send them out. I'll find some place to put those chicks. All right. Um, first off, I think I want. I think I want to redo these signs. Make them, you know, kind of fit, because you know they're 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 kind of boring, you know. 
for the most part, our signs in the other parts of the zoo have uh, little pictures around them, like like uh, frames. But not here. So we need to fix this. We need to fix this. All right, we're going to leave. You know what? No, you, you, we're going to take you out, too. We'll take you out, too. Bring in the Highland Cow. Um, I might need to rework some of these exhibits, because they might not be able to be walked through with some of these animals. Let's see here. We'll send you out, too. Okay, now let's take a look. Wait, hold on. Quick trade. There we go. Animal trading. Let's take a look at the Highland Cow first. Up here. What am I doing? Highland cattle. Okay. Uh, can you be in a walkthrough exhibit? Guests can interact. So yeah, you, you'll be you'll be fine here. Uh, the Highland is a breed of cattle or boss taurus from Scotland. The name of the breed references the Scottish Highlands, where the breed originated. Highland cattle are best known for their unique long coats. Their fur is made of a very wavy outer layer of long guard hairs, which protects the animal from the elements, and a downy undercoat, keeping them warm. Most highlands have a rusty red fur, though they may also be blonde, brown, or black in color. The highland's head sports a characteristic fringe over the forehead and two long angular horns. It is a rather small breed. Bulls stand 3.4 feet to 3.9 feet tall and weigh 1,322 pounds to 1,874 pounds, while cows are slightly smaller at a height of 2.9 feet to 3.4 feet and a weight of 882 pounds to 1,102 pounds. Humans domesticated cattle as early as 10,500 years ago, which were derived from the cow now extinct aurochs and have, <coughs> excuse me, and gave rise to two different domestic species of cattle. Bos taurus, the cattle of Europe, Africa, and the Near East, and Bos indicus, the cattle of Southeast Asia. The Highland is a breed of taurine cattle developed to withstand exceptionally harsh weather while still yielding meat despite the poor pastures in the region. It is considered a domesticated species at risk of extinction on a local level in the UK. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, let's see here. Um... I'm gonna get you. I'm, I'm not sure how <clears throat> how much space these guys are gonna need compared to like the other animals we've had in here. So let's get him. Let's get some chickens. Is this Sussex chicken? Yes. Okay. Sussex chicken.
Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, uh, I think that'll do it for me. I'm going to take a look at what they have in here as far as the other animals. So there is the American Standard Donkey. Um, and he can actually... I think I might put these guys in with the Longhorns. Yeah. We'll have a little extension to the uh, petting zoo. That's going to be kind of like a little Texas thing. Next to the uh, armadillos, we'll have donkeys and Texas longhorns in there. So those two are going in next time. Um, other than that, I think the only, only other animal that was added to the uh, pack was an alpaca. Yeah. Look at him. Ah. <laughs> uh... What can you be kept with? Also friendly with the Longhorn. I don't think I'll put them in with the Longhorn, though. That wouldn't make much sense. There are a lot of alpaca farms, though, in Texas, so it, it, it could work. But I don't think I'll do it. Anyway, partners, I'm going to go ahead and call this here. Sorry I took a little bit of a break. I came back feeling worse than I did when I actually went on break. That'll teach me to take vacation. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, partners. If you enjoyed, feel free to click, like, and subscribe. Much appreciated. It really helps me out. Next time, we're going to put in a little habitat here. A little add-on for the Texas area. It's going to have donkeys and Texas longhorns. Um, all right, the, ga the game's been acting weird today. It keeps acting like it's about to crash. Anyway, yeah, ne next time we'll put in the Texas longhorn and the donkey exhibit here. Then we'll get back to work on Africa, and we'll be back to normal. Yeah, thanks for watching, partners. If you enjoyed, feel free to click, like, and subscribe. Very much appreciated. It really helps me out. And I will see you, partners. Yo, piggy. Next time. Piggy, 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 piggy. Bye-bye. Aww. Thanks so much for watching, partners. And before we end this episode, I just want to say, uh, for the duration of this series, we will be running a slightly different fundraiser for what we usually do. You guys know I usually run a uh, charity fundraiser on my videos, but for this series, I am going to be running a charity donation for the Texas Parks and Wildlife Native Wildlife and Endangered Species Fund. But you guys, if you are not familiar with it, it helps to raise money for the protection of threatened species and their environments here in Texas. So if you guys want to help them out, I will have the link to the donation site down in the description. Feel free to check that out if you're able to. And uh, yeah, thank you again so much for watching, partners. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.